Welcome back to the homestead everyone. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to show you how to install a storm door. It's really easy. Stick with us and see how it's done. Okay, real quick, let's take a look at the tools you're going to need for this job. You're going to need a level, a couple of drill drivers, one with a drill bit and one uh, with a Phillips head or flat. You're going to need both for this particular door installation, but I also have a flat head screwdriver, something to mark with, a tape measure, a hacksaw, and a pair of pliers. Now let's take a look at this beautiful Larson Easy Hang door, and this is what I like about it the most. All right, let's see what we got in the box here. We have got our header, and we have our two jams. One jam is hinged. And what I like particularly uh, about this model is that it has five hinge points. That's gonna make for a really, really solid door. We have our closer and our handle. We've got our jam extenders here. We've got uh, some weather stripping for the bottom on the, uh, this threshold. And we've also got some gorgeous instructions, really easy to follow. And this uh, brand of door, this type of door is left or right hand modifiable. So it, uh, this is a right hand or a right hinge installation. And on the other side of the instructions here, if the wind doesn't blow it away, are the left hand uh, le or left hinge installation instructions. And that's what we're going to be doing is our left hinge installation. Okay, first things first. We're going to want to check for plumb and level on our exterior trim. That is where the door is going to mount. So let's do that right now. Looks good here. Good to go here. And good to go here. The second thing we're going to want to do is check the width of the door or the width of the trim. And we want to do this because our specific door has tolerances which you need to fall within. And those tolerances on this door are 36 and 3 8 inch to 35 and 7 8 inch. So you have a half inch there. We are right at the edge of that tolerance. We are at 36 and 3 eighths. If we wanted to change that or if we need to change that, we'll have to uh, do some adjustments to the trim here and bring that in a little bit to fit the door properly. Okay, our next step is to install the hinge side jam. And we're going to want to shove that all the way up to the top trim. Now in some door installations, you want to leave an eighth of an inch gap there for our header. But in this case, you don't. With this particular Larson door, I'll show you why. Right here, you can see, I hope you can see, let's get it on my contrast to my shirt here, is this oblong or odd shaped hole here. What we're gonna wanna do is make a hole in the center of this oval area on this side, right in the center. We're gonna dr pre-drill a hole and put a screw in there that will back out this way and come out of our circular hole here. The head of the screw will come out of the circular hole of the head. When you reinstall the door, it will drop down and the shaft of the screw will come up to the top here, creating your gap at the top for your header. Okay, next step is to remove the uh, interior glass pieces and the screen and place the door face up. And then we're going to put on our hinge side jam. Okay, down from the top of the door here, there are two screws. We're going to take out this second screw here and leave it out permanently. You can discard that screw. You're going to take this particular screw in this instruction. It is the uh, non-painted one inch eighth of an inch screw. We're going to set our hinge in here 
and screw this one in. Now for the rest of the hinges, we're going to mark and drill the holes for the rest of the hinges. You're going to want to start at the bottom first and work your way up. Okay, next step, put the jam extender on the bottom of the jam, bring your door into place, and we are going to hook on our door to that original screw we put into our trim. Once our door is set, we're going to drill and screw in the bottom screw. All right, after your header is installed with proper clearance, you will put on your other jam. Now, in our case, our trim uh, was quite wide and we needed a shim behind this piece or this jam right here to get our proper clearance so that uh, it closes completely on that weather stripping inside. So you want about an eighth of an inch all the way around and that makes it uh, a good seal around the weather stripping that comes in. Our next step is to go down to our threshold install our weather stripping on the threshold and um, adjust it to our threshold going into the house. We're just going to thread our weather stripping into the groove at the bottom. Really quite easy. Thread it all the way across. Trim off any excess. You can pinch this channel at the bottom to lock in the weather stripping if you like. Next thing we're going to do is adjust our threshold and it comes with two slots here for a screw. We're going to adjust it to the proper height for our threshold in front of our door here to get a nice tight seal on the bottom. Make sure you do not over tighten these. The interior of this door is a particle board, so it can't take much torquing on these screws. But they will tighten up nicely. Just be careful. All right, time to install our hardware. The closer and the handle. On this particular door, the closer is made to go three inches below your window opening. Some closers go at the bottom, some at the top. This one, in particular, goes about right here. Okay, what we did was we set this closer about an inch from the lugs with the stopper. We closed the door and marked on our bracket here, our holes, wherever that was on the inside. So our closer, as we close the door, we'll pin it on the inside and then it'll close all the way properly. Make sure you do not drill. When you drill the pilot holes for these, don't drill all the way through the door. That goes without being said, but it's really delicate right here. Just drill a tiny pilot hole to get these two set screws right here. Well, as you can see folks, it got pretty dark on me pretty quick out here and the only thing we have left to do is install the door hardware and that's fairly easy to do. Just don't let it interfere with your in inner door hardware and you'll be all set there. The only issue that we ran into with this door installation is our trim width 
and where our jams were set on our door. So you want to make sure when you're in the store that you buy a door that can adjust properly. As I told you, we needed to shim this out and it was just on the edge of needing to buy a custom door. But we did get our trim taken off, adjusted in, and the door works perfectly. Those are the issues that are gonna make it a little bit longer of a project than normal. The actual door installation is really, really easy. And this company, Larson, makes it uh, super simple. The instructions were perfectly uh, set up, really easy to read, and it went together flawlessly. Every part fit perfectly, made in the USA, love it. And uh, the door, like I said, it's got five hinges. It's got a great closer. It's got some great uh, parts for the opener. That's why I bought this door. Obviously made in the USA and I wanted a door like that. So if you go out and get one of these, uh, we particularly got ours at Lowe's. It, it was only, I think it was 125 bucks. And they just lowered the price on it actually, which is really, really great. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the installation of the door. If you have any questions, leave it for us in the comment section below. And don't forget to go to visit our website, countrylivingexperience.com. We've got our blog over there where we write other articles about what's going on on the homestead. And we have our tool store. All the tools you see us use, the quality tools, the tools that we believe in are in that tool store and linked to our Amazon store. That's a way to support our family for free. It doesn't cost you a penny extra, but it supports our family and we really appreciate it. We hope you subscribe to the channel. We hope you love what we're doing here. And we will see you on the next video. Oh yeah, like the video. Thumbs up. Appreciate it. Bye.